how to keep the ball out of contact and be patient in build-up play. So we have a loose ball here and this player that's coming onto the ball from the Netherlands is assessing his options. You've got two defenders that are dropping back behind the 25. Um, he's also looking at the body position here of the striker, noticing the direction that he's traveling in, where his feet are positioned, where his stick is. Okay, so even though his defenders are dropping back behind that line, he recognizes that the space and the best place would be in the left foot space of the striker who would make it very difficult for him to pick that one up. Okay, it's a weighted pass, which is lovely because it allows the left back to get into the position to pick up the ball, even though he was going in the opposite direction. Okay, so really good option there. Um, now the left back has a look up, assesses his options, waits for the striker to engage. He doesn't rush that pass. Okay, and then he plays a nice inside pass, off, again, off the left foot of the striker. Very difficult to pick up the ball there, especially when you're on the move. And lovely pass infield and a fantastic reverse receive from the midfielder. If you just notice how he receives that ball under the line of his eyes, really good first touch, allows him to get his head up and assess his options from here. Okay, and he opts to keep the ball out of contact, plays it back to the right half, who's able to receive the ball with his feet facing forward. He can have a look up, assess his options, and the temptation here a lot of the times are players will run with the ball, and that's not necessarily right or wrong, um, but what's done really well here is he plays a nice early pass, and the player on the ball does exceptionally well here as well because he receives the ball ahead of his defender. Okay, so when that ball gets played into the space, onto his reverse, he, at, at this stage he's more or less in line with the defender, but he allows the ball to come across his body and he receives it ahead of the defender, which means he's beaten him without taking the ball into contact. And now his feet are also facing forward in the direction that he's going. So it's keeping the game nice and dynamic. It's a nice flow in the game. Um, less so static pass receive and actually being able to pass into space, receive on the move, get your feet facing forward. Again, keeps the ball out of contact. He makes the pass a little um, lift over the stick. Obviously, there's a little bit of pressure coming in. So a little lifted pass is perfect to his strike ahead of him. Okay, and you'll see here, as soon as we take the ball into contact, although we keep possession, the game breaks down. Okay, so really good example here of how we can take a defensive situation in uh, the left corner and keeping the ball out of contact, having patience in our build-up play. We're now in our attacking quarter of the field. If you're a hockey player over 35 looking for ways to improve and take your game to the next level, check out my free training I put together called The Four Ways to Modernize Your Game. You can find the link in the description or head to my bio to get instant access.